Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be all about Heimdall. So we all by now I assume have heard about Heimdall, how amazing his synergies are. The cheat death mechanic has saved us more units than we can count probably. And we are consistently taking Heimdall in our questing teams using his synergy, saving a lot of units. But unfortunately we're neglecting the man himself. So first of all, just beside his base synergy of uh, cheating death. He also offers three extremely useful synergies so he can help you recover your health every fight with Loki, Thor Ragnarok or OG Thor which is really useful in de many different situations especially where you're running kind of high risk high reward champions like Nick Fury or The Thing and then we have synergy with Angela or Hela that can grant you a permanent fury buff which has been shining immensely against stuff like uh, Caustic Temper where you deal 90% less damage unless you have an active fury buff plus it's a nice damage increase overall. So then we also have a really great synergy with Magic and Guillotine, two really great champions and gives you increased precision buff and that's also helping you increase your damage output which is awesome and that all comes on top of his own uh, synergy with himself giving you ability to basically not die once a fight when you would have however despite how awesome his synergies are most of us are kind of ignoring what this awesome stud muffin of a man can do by himself and that is largely due to his slightly lackluster damage even though the damage isn't all that bad in longer fights once you ramp him up uh, there are quite few ways Heimdall can increase his damage output and I'm going to be explaining that in the video however the main uh, thing he brings to the table is his permanent true strike permanent true strike easily accessible via any of your special attacks and does not go away up until such point you get hit is extremely amazing and useful just because true strike mechanic is becoming more and more useful in the game overall so later on in this video I'm going to talk a bit more about True Strike and where it comes in handy and why Heimdall is an excellent champion to choose as your True Strike option. But before that we're going to briefly go over main of his, uh, his main abilities and how he can ramp up his damage. So we all know that he basically generates his fury charges by striking opponent or hitting opponent's block and once you reach 100 you activate fury on yourself and in a similar fashion once you uh, get hit or get hit in a block you generate armor up charges and once they reach 100 you activate an armor up buff on yourself so first of all with armor up buff gives you a great uh, havoc matchup because only thing you have to do is take few hits in a block you're going to have an active armor up buff on demand basically and you're going to be able to bypass his plasma detonation damage but that's just a small piece of kind of side utility let's talk about how he can ramp up his damage even further and that is number one why his heavy attack his heavy attack can basically give you ability to lock in one of his temporary buffs and ch change them to permanent one so whether you choose that to be precision precision activates uh basically whenever you activate a true strike buff on yourself you get a precision buff so for most of the fights you're only going to get one precision and then as you strike opponent you're going to be generating fury buffs you can lock those in place and his level 3 access incredibly awesome aptitude buff which, which increases potency of all your buffs by 50 percent that's right 50 percent is nothing to sleep on so it took us 253 hits to take down the winter soldier but that was mainly due to me not locking these buffs in correctly first thing we want to do is we want to lock in precision buff which is what i did in this fight then we basically want to lock in at least three aptitude buffs by level three uh, if the fight is longer if not then obviously you're just going to lock in your fury buffs but that uh, however increased our damage output by quite a bit uh, so we went down to 220 hits over there so as you can see even though Heimdall is never going to be your hardest hitter it still can put out some damage uh, significant enough to take down like realm of legend champions uh, that obviously isn't like any record time or record amount of hits however it still got the job done and it is worth noting i am running suicides in these videos However, now we are going to be talking more about his True Strike buff. His True Strike buff basically gives you ability to bypass many of the damage reduction uh, abilities, such as armor up and so on. However, that's not the main thing. True Strike basically gives you ability to completely ignore all the way the auto block effects. And that is one of the predominant kind of like annoyance things in the game at the moment. We all know how annoying can be 
Modok, Spider-Man, so on and so forth. So Heimdall completely bypasses all of that from the point where he activates his first special attack. As a cherry on top, his true strike buff activates uh, before his first hit of the special one. Therefore, even if you are, let's say, using your special attack to intercept an opponent, he has absolutely no chance to wait. Therefore, you do not need to kind of play it safe with a parry or whatever. And then you can spend the rest of the fight building up your attack with why heavy attacks or whatever and locking in these buffs in place. Now locking in buffs in place is also extremely important for Heimdall because his awakened ability lets him kind of store those buffs for the next fight and at the beginning of next fight convert those buffs into power. Uh, and then you're going to be starting the next fight with an active power gain buff which basically means that you're going to be able to shoot off your level 1 immediately without having a need to launch an attack. Now my Heimdall is only SIG 20, therefore I need at least pretty much like 5 of these buffs in place uh, for me to have enough power again to get to level 1, or 6 even maybe. Uh, but yeah, if you have Heimdall with higher SIG level, you're gonna need less of these buffs, which is extremely important, because you will want to start the fight with your special 1 active, you will want to shoot your special 1 at the beginning of the fight and spend the rest of the fight without a single worry about auto block or uh, evade or anything of the sort. Now there was trying to be cheeky, <laughs> does in a heavy attack, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we got saved by Quake's energy. But anyway, so here is the base point, right? Heimdall is one of the champions in the game that accesses True Strike the easiest. I think it's pretty much like the easiest way to True Strike. Uh, Knight Thrasher has super easy, easier access to True Accuracy, but that's not True Strike. However, it still functions similarly. However, when it comes to an actual True Strike, Heimdall uh, is pretty much at top of his game because of his power gain buff, because of the fact that it activates at the beginning of any special you shoot. Therefore, you can start these difficult fights with True Strike Active pretty much, so long as you have had a fight beforehand. And uh, as my final thoughts about Heimdall, as this video keeps going on, I do believe that since we are taking Heimdall with us anyways, because of his cheat death synergies and whatever other kind of help we need, it is a shame that so many of us are sleeping on him as an actual champion and forget that he can actually punch opponent, hit opponent, and be of great service to yourself. Now, is he the greatest champion in the game? No, definitely not. Like, he isn't like your preferred choice of an attacker for questing and so on. Because, yeah, his damage could be better, he has no immunities, he has a fair amount of inherent weaknesses. However, is he still useful and better than vast majority of the champions in the game? Definitely. Now, if we combine that with the fact that he's always there anyways, I don't see any reason why most of us should not actually try and invest in this character, take him up as a 5 star to rank 4, let's say. Yes, tier 2 alphas are still important, but I think the fact that you will have another champion that you can actually use and normally bring with you is definitely worth the effort. I am for one strongly considering taking my Heimdall to rank 2 just because of how often I take him in quests with me. Now granted I have a few champions I want to rank beforehand, but will he be going up eventually as a 6 star to rank 2? 100%. Uh, might not be my next rank up or my second to after one that, but as soon as TFIBs kind of get a bit more freely available, I will definitely rank him up just to have another attacker with me at all times that I basically not a waste but if we haven't ranked up our Heimdall yes it is a waste in the sense that you have one less champion to use in your team however if he is ranked up to a decent level can he help you immensely in these fights yes you, you can bypass away you can bypass auto block maybe you're not gonna want to use him for every single fight in the quest but will he come useful to you 100% he will therefore that is my recommendation to everybody who is still watching this video is pay a bit, little bit more attention to your Heimdall, put some resource in him, rank him up as high as you can, and when <laughs> needs must, when necessity arises, he will be there for you, because it is going to be much better than having basically a blank champion slot with your team that you have taken in there just for synergy. For me personally, like, let's say I have ranked up Captain America Infinity War. Is he better champion than Heimdall? Yes. Do I use him more than Heimdall? No. In this sense and this time, current time, like, if I had a chance to redo it, would I want to rank up Heimdall instead? Probably, yeah. <laughs> 
uh, just because I think I would get more value out of the character, even though he isn't as good as Captain America is. It's just because how often he is with me in my questing, in my synergy teams. And therefore, yeah, that is pretty much going to be my parting thought. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do feel free to hit that like button, uh, smash that subscribe button, hit that share button, share this opinion with your alliance mates, with your friends, and I'm going to see you guys soon in my next video. All the best meanwhile, and I hope you have a fantastic day.